What does aloe, honeysuckle, and synthetic sapphire have in common? Let's talk about that. Today, as we explore more foundations in the Color Me Beautiful line, you will be thrilled to know that the flawless, loose mineral foundation contains all of those three ingredients. Hydrating while it wears, the synthetic sapphire ingredient helps to diffuse the light and lines so that when you are looking at the face of the wearer of the Flawless Loose Mineral Foundation from Color Me Beautiful, it appears luminescent and blurs the lines of the actual signs of aging. Creates a soft focus effect and gives the skin a really natural glow. The colors that we have to play with today are beige in the Flawless Mineral Loose Foundation, tan, and light. We'll go through the method for applying and I'm going to swatch these three colors on my face right now. And then I will do this with the recommended brush, which is the Kabuki brush here, also from Color Me Beautiful. So this particular product, and let me take a look at my notes here, is a really, it's a long lasting coverage. One of the things that I like about a loose mineral foundation that blurs lines, helps to hydrate, because lots of powders, let's be honest, dry the skin out and they can make you feel more dry or really enhance the sign of the lines and the aging in your face. Not with this one. The Color Me Beautiful Loose Mineral Foundation is designed to help hydrate as you wear and blur those lines so it has a softer, more youthful, glowing appearance. So let's take a look at the color tan first. To put this product on, you'll open it up and then dump some into the lid. Not a lot. We'll start with this amount because we're gonna swatch the other colors. So once again, we're working with the tan color. Then you take your Kabuki brush. So you tapped in here and now you're going to swirl, tap off the excess and then buff this color into the face. And you buff using this dense bristle kabuki brush in circular motions. Like so. Layering and building your coverage as you go. Now, fantastic pro tip is that if you have another brush, a dense style brush, and this is just an eyeshadow brush, and you wanna get into the nooks and crannies of the face, you can create the same effect by putting that brush into that same loose mineral product. And let's say you needed to get to an area that's a little bit tighter into the face. You can create the same effect in tighter to reach places with a dense bristle, bris, dense bristle, <laughs> dense bristle, brr brush on the face. And then you can use your Kabuki to go back through and blend. So that's the color tan, a little dark uh, for my face. You can see how that color is setting right there on the skin. Not quite the right color for me, but you've seen the application buildable and that you can keep going. So I can put on the light, sort of a mineral veil look, or I can keep going and add more coverage and more color to my skin, depending on what it is that I'm preparing for evening, day, or what kind of coverage I prefer, light or heavy. So let's take a look at this color now. We're gonna look at some light. This is the light mineral. In this particular container too, I love this feature because loose mineral foundation can just be a mess sometimes. And these actually have this plastic part that you can turn, hold on, I don't wanna, I'm worried that I'm also gonna dump it on myself while I show you this. But you can turn this so the holes in the product actually align or unalign. So when you align them like this, then the product comes out. But when you turn them, it's like your spices. But when you turn it like that, then the product, and there's just a little bit in there, but notice the product doesn't really come out. There's just a tiny bit that was like in there. 
But when you line up the holes and you turn it over, then the product rains out like a seasoning or a spice bottle does. And you get the product then in the lid. Okay. Again, trying very hard not to just spill this on myself. <laughs> Another fantastic feature about the loose mineral foundation, and we're working with the light color now, is that it is paraben, paraben and um, fragrance free. And for many, that is a really important feature. So I'm tapping just a bit more of this color into the lid. How are you guys today? So let us know if you're watching live and then let me know if you saw this in the replay using the light. So this is the light that I am buffing on. I swirled in the lid. I tapped off the excess and now I'm buffing this on. Again, I might need to use a finer bristle brush to get into the under eye area. Although a kabuki does move around the eye area pretty well when you do it like that. And then if you have lash extensions like I do, the lash extensions get hold of the brush. <laughs> okay, so we swirled that around. I like the light. I like the way that feels. That color is a little more suited for my complexion, my personal complexion. But since skin tones are in absolutely every variety, there are multiple choices. So we've seen the tan and then we've seen the light. Ooh. Let's play with the beige. I just dropped my microphone. Beige is the last one. And which color do you use in the loose mineral foundation if you use a color at all? So this one actually has more product that's already been sort of dispensed just by the, you know, the nature of being here and kind of traveling around. Once again, loose powder products can be messy, but this one, this container has a really lovely feature where you can turn the top of it so that the holes are not in alignment and then the product doesn't come out. So taking the Kabuki brush, which I've run down on a towel, you can also use a clean sweep brush pad if you're moving through multiple colors with any of your brushes, or if you want to multi-use a brush, you can use a clean sweep brush pad like so, hey guys, to release the product and prevent the brush from building up with color that you don't want so that you're not muddying up your application or you can reuse a brush multiple times. So tapping this now into the beige color so you can see how the bristle grabs onto that. Just excellent clarity with the camera today. And I'm gonna go to the forehead with this color. Swirling in circular motions with the Kabuki brush. Coming down between the eyebrows. and then into the hairline. Hey guys. And that is the beige color. Uh, I also like that one, but I think I like the light the best. And I can even see how it has um, that, that reflective quality, that natural glow quality with the synthetic sapphire that's in the actual product. Um, the honeysuckle extract helps for healing. It really soothes. It's an anti-inflammatory. The, the product itself is so clean and so good and so healthy for your skin. So I just tapped the Kabuki into the lid again. So this is the lid and that's product here of our beige color. So we're working with the beige. Hey ladies. So taking the beige color again and I'm just gonna layer it now that you've seen that on the forehead which from a demo perspective is easier to see because I'm working with this just broad flat surface. I love you too, Yaracel. I'm actually trying to get my computer to upload the comments because I'm staring at the back of the uh, camera right now. <laughs> so I can't see your comments, but I can see the reflection in the mirror that I use. I can see the reflection in the mirror to see that there are comments. So Shirley says right now tan and normally she uses beige. That's her daily foundation and she loves it. Okay, awesome, Shirley. Thank you for sharing that. So 
she said right now she's using tan, but normally she uses beige. So the one that I did first was the tan right here, which is uh, a little dark for me. So good to take a look at Shirley's page and kind of see what color uh, she is so you can get a familiarity with the swatches. I think it's helpful to see it on a variety of skin tones so you can get a feel for what it looks like. And then this is the beige that I have just buffed out over again and again on the forehead. Okay, pretty good. That worked out, that worked out really well. So now when I put the lid on here, I can hold these up again. But we worked again with the Color Me Beautiful and it is the Loose Mineral Foundation, Flawless Loose Mineral Foundation, rated with five stars on the colormebeautiful.com website. This product is extremely affordable and when opened, and you can see that at the bottom, when opened, it will last you 18 months. And that's a lot of product and you'll notice that it was just a slight dusting of the product on the actual brush to leave any kind of color impact or any sort of smooth coverage, really fluid, soft, blended coverage on the skin. As always, all of these products are something that are fantastic try it on prices. So if you're thinking, hmm, I might like to try one of those loose mineral foundations, put that in the comments below that you would like to experience the minerals or that you want to try it on. And we can get you the link so that you know where you can go online and take a look for yourself, read a review, see the how to, the ingredients up close and the description of the product in addition to this fantastic video. And if you live close by, definitely be sure to swing by so that you can see this and touch it in real life. But get a hold of these for the no makeup makeup fan or somebody who loves makeup and loves taking care of their skin. This is the perfect product to include in your daily makeup routine, whether you have oily skin or dry skin to give you a flawless, soft focus full to light coverage, healthy mineral glow. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.